the key and operate it. Okay. Um, those are not your best option, but if that's what your budget allows, then you'll probably have a turnkey system. Okay. <clears throat> Other systems like the uh, the Sensitrack system. Now, it's, I'm not a Sensitrack salesperson, but I wouldn't mind being. I really like that system. It's expensive, but um, it's so versatile. It can do a lot. It can track at the instrument level. You can run reports on productivity. What did Third Shift do last night? What did uh, Joey Bag of Donuts do all day yesterday? Okay. Um, something like the Sensitrack and some other systems, they will not store data locally. So you might have all of your count sheets uploaded into the system, but the data is stored on what you call the cloud. So not necessarily locally in your department or in your hospital, but in what is called the cloud. Cloud computing is uh, storing regularly used data on multiple servers that can be accessed through the internet. So they're the sensor track servers were actually in Tennessee. So every time we went to uh, assemble a set, um, we were working off of a count sheet that was stored on a server in Tennessee, but we were in Arizona. That's cloud computing. Um, there were a few times when I talked to them because they wanted feedback on the customers. So I would talk to them about RFIDs and I would say, you know what? If we had RFIDs on all these instrument sets, uh, RFID is a radio frequency identifier. I, I said it would really solve a lot of problems because one of the problems that we were faced with was people just not scanning instrument sets. You know, so um, Joe the tech from upstairs in the OR comes down and grabs a set and he just walks off with it without scanning it. So now we don't know where that set is. So that set was meant to go to another case and now the set has disappeared because Joey didn't pick up a scanner and scan the barcode on the set and say, I'm taking it to operating room six. So when things like that don't happen, um, the system doesn't work. So the system is only as good and reliable as the people who are working it. But with something like an RFID, I know you're familiar with RFIDs because We've all heard the alarm go off at the target when somebody walks past the sensor near the door um, and there's something in their cart that was not, dis the RFID was not deactivated and the alarm goes off. So uh, they actually do have RFIDs now for instrument sets. Sensitrack's answer at the time was, we're actually working on that, um, but we're looking for an RFID that can survive the sterilization process. So it's been found. There are some pretty clever systems that use RFIDs. It's the future. They can put this little uh, tag on each and every instrument. And uh, so I saw a demonstration of this at a conference and they took an instrument set and they set it on this pad. And then on the computer screen over there, you saw every instrument on the count sheet just sort of populate the list. Brrr. And then they picked up an instrument out of the set, they took it over here, like they were taking it to the, uh, to the patient to, to hand to the doctor, and it put up a red X right there on the screen indicating that that insert was gone out of the set. Um, this is like such a huge miraculous improvement that you guys don't really get yet because you've never uh, been in the OR or in sterile processing, <laughs> um, but you will. <clears throat> just imagine uh, that instrument that had a tag on it is never going to be left inside the patient. Also, um, if you are, even if you're in a really experienced tech who's been doing this for 19 years, it's possible for you to make a mistake. <laughs> it is, it really is. So if you um, were about to make a mistake of not having the right number or uh, the right type of instrument in a set, that computer's going to let you know. Awesome, okay. So, page 424, computerized systems in use. Computerized systems, there's a lot of them. I'm not gonna go into all of them again. Um, but computerized standards are accepted by what is called the Healthcare Information Management System Society, HIMSS. 
<clears throat> okay, HIMSS is a global, cause-based, nonprofit organization that is focused on better health through information technology. That is a sentence. <laughs> okay. I'm not telling you that that's the uh, answer to a question on a quiz or anything, but it could be. You, so you should know what HIMSS is. You should know all of the green boxes throughout this entire chapter and book. You should be familiar with those if you haven't figured that out yet. Okay. Oh, look, more about tracking systems. The need for continual update of information is critical for the success of any tracking system. Uh, its primary use, um, regardless of whether its primary use is for instrument processing, case card pick lists, preference cards, inventory control, or other purposes. So a tracking system, we're not talking about updating the operating system or the software, we're talking about updating the information. Like when Joey the tech comes downstairs and he doesn't go boop and beep, he didn't update the information about that set. <clears throat> so. That's what a tracking system is. It's a series of continuous updates. What's happening? Where are these instruments? Where are they now? What's happening to them? Okay, so you know what an RFID is, right? Radio frequency identifier and um, how, they, how they've been around you for years and you probably never really gave it too much thought about what that is. These things can track in real time. You don't have to have a guy standing at the door at Walmart going through all of your stuff to make sure that everything has been scanned. Um, if there is going to be a sensor at the door going off and alarming if something uh, had not been scanned. Okay. So basic systems here on page 425. Basic instrument and equipment tracking systems typically can track or account for complete instrument sets and trays specific equipment items so where are all of my kangaroo pumps well if people have been using the system right and updating the information then i can run a report and see where each and every one of them happen to be um, the last known location of things cost and value of specific equipment and instruments yep you can literally put in there that each kelly that was purchased from b mueller costs $18.73 or whatever. And, uh, and then you can run a report on the value of all of your Kelly's and then, you know, on all of your equipment and instruments. Um, number of complete processing and use cycles through which instruments and instrument sets have moved. So what we were doing at Desert was uh, Mr. Mike Rice, the instrument repair person, and I established a, uh, a schedule for instrument repair and sharpening. So we decided that every 50 times this instrument set was scanned through decontamination, it would flag that it is due for maintenance. And that was a very good system. So um, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, keep in mind that you know, these tracking systems can be used to see um, what is happening on each shift. No, they don't account for how many times you had to stop what you were doing and answer the phone, but uh, they can definitely determine whether or not you've been doing anything or nothing.